because he's a goober it's that just, he's an egotistical mega, maniac. It's just all megalomania. Yeah, and we're live. And yeah. um, so last episode was a lot of exploring. Basically, we, we did nothing really plot wise. Just a lot of combat and me relearning talking and talking about Final Fantasy and talking about Final Fantasy. And I'm gonna turn off your camera because uh, I left that on. Oh yeah, fair. You don't have to. Uh, I'm doing it out of respect for your privacy. Um, uh, well, I kind of forgot I was showing you something, so I'm just gonna turn it off. So we reached an area after a lot of. Okay, so we talked a lot about Final Fantasy, mostly because. I had re we both had recently just finished it, and then I was like, I have to retrain myself to play this game after having played Final Fantasy for like 40 hours for like several weeks straight. Yeah. So that's where that came from. Ooh, and I just have to remember how to play this game. Oh, is this stem? That was some wild acrobatics there, Cal. No, it's he just he just. I mean, that's not a terrible outfit. Hold on. I, I know that they're all cosmetic in this one too, but like I'm, I'm at least appreciate that there's a there's a wider variety of choices. Like, yeah, it's not just a single outfit. It's like I can tailor, I can choose a few items or whatever. Also, it's know. it's not just At the like, end of the oh. Hold on. Hello? Oh, okay, that one's dead. Okay, switching to the big boy. Is that like time lock you or something? I'm sorry. Hey BD1. That one doesn't play nice, huh, BD? Hmm. I love that 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 Jory did not back down after having both arms cut off. It did not give a fuck. Um. Onward and upward, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I thought that second stormtrooper was still alive, so I was going to focus on him, but it was not. Wait. Are they stormtroopers at this point, or are they clone troopers? They're stormtroopers now, right? Uh, Yeah, I mean... I don't remember the lore. Hello? That's so dumb. Because you were just on that ground floor. <laughs> Oh. It is now, it is now, uh, Jesus, oh, that was course wild. Right um, yeah, because in that round room back there, it's like you wall ran into a force jump into a wall run. <laughs> and there you force jump into a wall run. Oh, I'm supposed to drop here. Into okay. A grappling hook okay so one thing i do appreciate this game doesn't really do that like absurdly telegraphed um, yeah sure sure it's not like bright or bright yellow paint yeah but now i'm now i don't know where i'm supposed to go or uh there are aspects of the game that i think are enjoyable don't get me wrong but like uh horizon Oh, dude, yeah. I and, like all the all the paths that you can get up are just bright orange, bright yellow, like blotches or whatever. A lot of games do that, to be fair. But, like I think, uh, I think, think with Days Horizon, Gone, it's a little bit like overdone almost. Yeah. I, oh no. Yeah, Days Gone is still the one that makes me a little bit sad that like they're probably not going to get an opportunity to make a sequel because. It had its issues. It just didn't they perform out, well, and didn't they worked really out most well. of the tech. Well, they worked out most of the technical pr 
problems pretty like by the a year in it just it also had a lot of like i don't know i was a little bit confused by the amount of like hatred that the storyline got because after playing it i'm like yeah it's a little bit hokey first, buddy. but like there's more like heart to this than a lot of games and a lot of media frankly much of the time like it, it's a slow burn it has a slow start i think i would have trouble replaying some of the early missions because mm -hmm. it's like punitive stealth missions shortcut we love to see it i am gonna actually use that uh meditation point because that guy wrecked me in a way i wasn't expecting um yeah i tried but, yeah. it i will admit i did not give it that fair of a shot like absolutely i did not give it a fair shot i don't think yeah i Wait, would have to replay it i could have hold on interesting my god okay i was like there's no way i could reach that from here so i'm not gonna get distracted um But like, I also, you know, playing as a biker, I'm like, eh, like I wanna. I mean, I guess, but like, I, I, I think it. Uh... Oh, okay, hold on. Who am I doing? Oh my god, camera! Oh my god. It also I don't know the what I got out of a lot of the story. Oh my god. Yeah. What I got out of it was a slightly more like hopeful vision for a world torn apart in that scenario. Um, I see. And you, then you often no, get, I think, and like a more like the characters were actually meaningful. That and that isn't to say there wasn't like representations of depravity and stuff like that or whatever, but um, that's certainly there. Um, but we've commented on how. Uh, Leak, like the last of us feels and what excuse me that was weird. oh that's where the wind's coming from oh and you have to yeah block it from oh that was weird um some yeah, of that just the bleakness some of that bleakness some of that bleakness seems to stem from us sort of from like a fundamental outlook from the creators of both the games and to some extent the TV show um, about like what people will do when society breaks down mm -hmm. uh, and like fundamental like bleakness to like what that means and, and I don't no, think like, I can reach that yet America or California as such or whatever but um mm -hmm. yeah so I thought it was a little more uh, Hopeful for some no. something that could be carved uh, out of the. Oh my god. Okay. But yeah, all that all that being said, I uh, I don't trust. You. I don't necessarily almost, need to see. I feel like with HBO problems. taking that not the that IP game, that, that, that IP with Catholic. The Last of Us, we're probably going to see continued media for it for a while. I um, I personally don't want to see more game from it. 
I, I don't I don't need to see more of the game world. No. Um and if I were to see another game, I would want it placed somewhere entirely different based on entirely different sets of characters. Yeah. From a different from a different team, like just make give it a strong narrative team and tell a different story. But and it doesn't even need to be the same kind of story, same kind no. of gameplay. But what? Um but I feel, but that's, I, I'm kind of expecting there to be more of that franchise just because they're opening it up to a new audience. Yeah, I, I mentioned this before. I would love Naughty Dog's take on sci-fi, like hard sci-fi well, yeah. or space yeah. opera. And they, they do have a new IP in the works, apparently. So that yeah. might, might be consideration. Yeah, it's space opera or even a, I, w I want to see good cyberpunk but i also think that we should, should give it a little time yeah. there's been a lot of cyberpunk adaptations lately and it's like at the end of the day my feeling is that cyberpunk is not well that was interesting but it's still there <laughs> you just have to die once oh okay this is goofy yeah i have to I'm gonna buy the expansion for Cyberpunk when it comes out. I might even uh, wait to play it on PC when that for when that comes that, out. Yeah, I have thought about a second playthrough, but I think I'm gonna just wait and see. I'm gonna that's... wait until that. I think I'm gonna wait till that expansion is yeah. actually out in mm -hmm. September, I think, or whenever it is, and then play through it. Is it supposed to be overhauling a Hello? lot of the game and adding to it? I'm Cal. This is a uh, interesting. I'm Peely. Didn't expect to see any pilgrims today. She's out. adorable. I love her. Do what I can, but very little grows here, as you can see. You should check out the Kobo system. Everything grows there. Sounds lovely. And I'm excited. Just tell the I don't know if you've talked about it, but will get you set up. I really like what I. S hmm. I don't care about any of this. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> It's it weird, grows my plants. Now, like when the game is built around that mechanic, like great. But when they try to like shoehorn it into an action platformer that that isn't a major focus of the game, so I can imagine a really interesting action platformer that like does have the gardening stuff as a central focus of part of your advancement or whatever. I don't know. But uh, where am I? This, this isn't that game. No, it's not. Uh. Where am I? You can't do the, uh, it's not the special wall. Oh, there's a know. stormtrooper up there. Can I climb this? Nope. Down. Okay. Um, I mean, that's fine. Oh, wait. I, I know. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, is this that? Okay. Okay. I guess I had to activate it from up here for it to actually work. Which is silly. It came from not there. How not how elevators work, sir. Okay. Check it out. Um... I mean, it, it is. I, I suppose it is the way they work if you program them that way. <laughs> um, I, I, I just, I'm willing to bet there are one-way elevators in this world. Some penthouses probably have one-way elevators. Like you can only go, oh, fucking up or down, and you can't call them from where the elevator's not. Okay, I only have, I think, one skill point, so I'm not gonna use it yet. All set. Okay. 
Okay, I I'll say now I'm not feeling this game as being as that janky compared to the last time we played. Yeah. Did they just do an update? No. I think I just got used to the jank that doesn't feel that janky. Uh oh. Lead the way. Okay. There's that big boy. Yeah. Hello. I mean, granted, you did you did go from playing a highly polished game to a not so polished game. I was one of those guys. Vengeance will be mine. Oh, he has a. <laughs> Let's deal with you. Oh god. And I need something, buddy. He fucking slams you though, like it's kind of crazy. That was a weird, like, little pause moment before it, like, tried to attack her. But I have heard imps talking of a new excavation machine. Mary? One moment. I think I started saying this, but I got sidetracked. I would, I'm genuinely excited for Star Wars Outlaws. Mm -hmm. Um. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, I can't get over that that dismount. Okay. Um, uh, you know, whether or not it's the first true open world Star Wars game, I'm not gonna comment. Don't care really about that claim. But uh -oh. just what are they using for true? What what? How much? What part of the argument is the word "true" carrying in that statement? Uh, I don't know. Like, because like. I well, I mean, I, this I, I get, I get, I get the kind of the, the general idea of like, okay, you open world being you go like a Skyrim where you have an op open world and you go into buildings and stuff like that. It's different than like, and I absolutely I do think they mean in the vein of like a Far Cry or like a right. So like you Assassin's Creed. That's the that's the and, and usage also, I think they're going for. Where you can kind of like go into any building, more or less, or and it's kind of continuous. Mm -hmm. um, Assassin's Creed even does it, where a lot of the buildings are just open. A lot of the merchants are just in the open world or whatever. Yeah. But um, I do really for, hope that or versus like a standard old JRPG that is technically yeah. open world, but you you have a world map and you go to towns or whatever. But because I was thinking like, Potor exists. I've never actually played through all the way, so I'm like, I can't judge if that's really open or not. But Straight I, up. Um, and I have it on my iPad. I have it on my Switch. Oh, no. Um. What? Man just crashes into a building. Random chamber. You have no idea what's in there. You just heard some noise coming from inside, and you are there barrel stairs in. this way? That's a little crevice. Huh. I feel like the crevice was the story way. Feels like it. Can I go back? I'm gonna go back. I wanna see what the uh, going down the actual stairs does. Um, but I, I mean, one of the main reasons I'm excited is it's not a, a Jedi story from what we can tell so far. Mm -hmm. And as much as I love like playing as a Jedi in this game, like the, the world is so advanced so vast why are we always so stuck on jedi all this way uh yeah yeah Just yeah and, and i actually think that the the 
The Star Wars lore could have a lot of... Uh, I'm sure that there's been stuff about this in books and comics and everything, don't get me wrong, but like... And it's touched on in some of the movies, but I haven't seen the new ones, of course, so like... Maybe not be an of course statement, but like, I'm not a big Star Wars person, so I haven't seen the new movies. But, um... That like... For a lot of people in the world, it's like, they're kind of just caught between the machinations of these like two groups claiming to have some like grand understanding of the universe or whatever and it's just mm -hmm. like hey man <laughs> i'm just trying to survive yeah in with the empire breathing down my neck and uh like yeah it's obviously it's like taken over by the the sith or whatever but but like uh, yeah they're stuck between the fucking dick measuring contest between the Jedi and the Empire. That's really what it is. Yeah, and like the Sith more broadly, but obviously because they're overtaken by the, the Empire is overtaken by the Sith, it's like more or less the same thing at that point. But it's, it's, yeah. So it, it is interesting to have that perspective because that's fundamentally like what keeps the society running is just the random people deciding to mm deciding to or being forced to work in various situations. Yeah. Okay. Where... Am I supposed to go up here? Nope. Again, I kind of respect that it's not clear where I'm supposed to go, based off of just, you know, painting. Mm -hmm. But, let's see. Okay. That's where I came from. That's too far. Maybe I just dismounted wrong. There we go. Or was it? Constant worrying. No, no, it's also the. Uh, what am I trying to say? The markings are like subtle enough that they. Uh, yeah. I'm supposed to go down, not up. Well, I originally thought I'm supposed to go over to like out here. But that rope's no, no way is that rope gonna reach there. Or am I supposed to just like do this thing? This is where John gets stuck for another whole episode again. <laughs> I 
Because I can get on top of that one, but I'm like, I don't see the point of getting on top of that one. There's no benefit to getting up there. try one more thing because I think I may have figured it out. I think I'm supposed to slide down that central column with my lightsaber is what I think is supposed to happen. Because that's the only thing this rope oh. only other thing this rope swings into. Yeah, it just didn't seem obvious. So like... Yeah, because like I said, this game doesn't do like the absurd marking that other games typically do. Yeah, there you go. Hello. Uh, lightning inside of here. Okay. Presumably, yep. Hello. Garrison's half empty. We can strike before reinforcements arrive. Sounds promising, but Marin and Greece haven't made it back to the ship yet. As soon as they do, I'll scout ahead and they can rest on the Mantis. You know they'll never allow themselves to rest if you're in danger. <laughs> you never give up. And that's what inspires all of us. But you have to remember that where you lead, they will follow. Look, I know I've been pushing recently, but. Ever since Greece what got happened hurt. to Greece is not your fault. But ever since then, you've been reckless. He's basically Captain America. Something bad happening to one of you. Just can't live without a war, Connor. It's good to acknowledge your fear. But don't let it determine your path. Focus on the moment. Choose your direction and act with certainty. And trust that whatever the odds, you'll pull through. Pal, trust yourself. Trust in the Force. Exactly. Learns nothing, continues to recklessly. What? Oh, hold, hold on. on. Now. Huh. Focus on the moment. <laughs> and push through. <laughs> so we gotta take this storm head on. Brace yourself, BD. Uh, what? Come on. Work, if I don't know my next step. Go. All right. <laughs> Yo, um, for real, if they made like a 3D Mega Man that's like a Metrovania, I would lose my shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, uh, yeah. They're at the temple empty. Okay, kind of Connor. Surprised. I mean, they had a couple false starts with that kind of thing in the 90s and thoughts, so that might. Have well, actually, I remember. Turned oh, down no. their, uh, very recently, I saw like. Oh no! What is that? Oh, okay. It's like a terraforming thing. Be careful. I'll see you inside. Um. But there was a like 
they actually tried to make like a Metroid Prime esque Mega Man. Yeah. Which fucking take my money. But apparently it got canceled, and I'm like, of course. Of course. <laughs> Forces with me. Okay. Off we go. Alright, now that I have this, I should be able to just go like Ooh. There we go. The winds are with us now. Alright. Let's deal with this homie. See what cosmetic we have back here. That drill will take time to set up. Hope Marin can slow them down. I should have chosen the flame trooper track. <laughs> I like that they still did the like the memory thing for him to remember how to do some force shit. Oh right, it's not from his uh, Padawan days, but from his Jedi Master, but from from Marin. Oh no, not from Marin. From like Sayer. other people. Okay, that's a different time. Or not. Oh god. Okay. So I messed up a jump. So I thought we. Uh, hello? I think there's a little bit of like a. Like a little of like. Oh, that sound effect. It's just these two? Okay. You're done. You're done. Oh, that's not climbable wall. Okay. Uh. Why is this here? I don't see anything obvious for why this is here. Maybe it'll just help you get back up if you miss your... But I feel like I would just straight up fall to my death if I miss this jump, right? No. Whatever. That was just the weirdest. Okay. Incredible. Do, 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 do. But that won't stop the Empire from reducing it to rubble. <laughs> oh, 
What's over here? He's over there. This has been here for a long time. Gotta hurry. Brother Armias can't hide forever. This dude better be worth it, man. Mm -hmm. This dude better be worth it. You know what to do. Are you you you're trying to recruit a guy? No, so we're trying to true. save one of Seer's like little like acolyte guys, I think. Mm. Pilgrim Sanctuary should prove a worthy location for the safe house. Its proximity to the archive is ideal. Um, with a bit of your slicing, this temple could once again provide safe haven for those who need it most. What's up? So... This Serious Sam game is out know. on... Game Pass? Pilgrim Sanctuary has some new caretakers. That sentry droid could be trouble. Okay, not yet. I do wish there was an actual stealth mechanic, but I guess this is kind of it. this back to Sears archive. <laughs> Don't they have How do I get past these green things? I've encountered them several times on like Yeah. All right, so there's two of the guys. Can I sneak attack him? Is that worth it? Oh, there's more than that. Okay. He also has a special weapon this time. Hello. Oh, all right. What I was, 
I was gonna say something earlier, but I forget it. If I were to replay... Oh, there's another one? What? Um, if I play Days Gone again, didn't circle back quite a while ago, um, I would want to play on the PC or PlayStation 5, because I played on the PS4, but also the PS4 is slim. Doesn't sound good. <clears throat> so some of the uh, encounters, like, I couldn't... I, I assumed it was into, rough, like it ran rough. I wasn't as into the big horde encounters anyway, like they force you into it in a couple story missions, but it wasn't what drew me to the game. Like it's a, it was a big selling point of the game, but it wasn't mm -hmm. like the thing that I liked and I got out of it. Like but that you personally so, liked, yeah. Even so, I wouldn't have been able to do it regularly, because as soon as you got more than a few dozen of the freakers, as they call them, on the screen, um, it would like, start chugging pretty badly. Mm. Even though, like, their their tech was fairly impressive to get it to. I think even many. like Last of Us Two did the same thing for me. Oh, chug was chugging on your. And I had a PS4 Pro. Mm. It was a more technically. I, I think there is more going this. on under the hood than that one, but... Okay, I think I'll be fine. I take out these guys. Oh, there's a homie up there. Does Cal only have one run speed? Okay. Yeah, I just need a Larry. And, and he has any of the rocket launcher. It's either a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher, but point being, some kind of AOE that he can use. But I also I didn't clear everyone that I thought I did because there's that one stormtrooper I was still trying to deflect from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, although uh, you know I think. Um... It's an odd comparison, maybe, because it's not necessarily the same game style. And that was the one I but, didn't clear, I think. The one I just got. Oh, was it? Um, but part of what I got out of the, like, the Last of Us gameplay was similar to what you get at like, the Arkham games. Like these set piece... Uh, Fights that feel almost like puzzles. Okay. Now we gotta take out these two because they're. He just knows. Okay. 
but they behave basically the same. Yeah, he just has another AoE kind of, not AoE, but like a heavy hitting weapon. I mean, it looks like it has more reach, maybe, but... Yeah, because when he slams that, like, purple mace kind of thing down, it pretty much acts like a AoE attack. Okay. So I can't get through there. Oh, side panel. Sign of the path safe house yet. Hate that. I see him, but definitely gonna have to fight that later. Like if we had to summarize this game in one word, goofy. I've led to believe there is a vast network of subterranean waterways beneath the Perfect. That should give our operation cover from Imperium scanners. Supposed to be a shortcut? Okay, so this isn't the the other place. Okay. It looks all like it. I think it's the other side, so it has a similar design. Like that green barrier is the other side of. Oh. At least I think. Oh shit! Maybe it is. Weird. Okay, so. I guess that is just a shortcut. Then I think I'm meant to go this way. Uh, 
that little force echo was supposed to hint at where to go. Oh, I see. Okay. It must activate with BD verse. Wherever this panel is over here. All good, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> I'm also sorry that this is a reality. <laughs> Can you put them on the same one? No, it won't reach. There's supposed to be a second one, but it got destroyed. Okay. I see. Oh my god. This is the problem you run into. Who is like using the same button for the same command? Or for different commands, rather? It's fine, it just needs better recognition. Better and better. Alright. Hello? Okay. 
I assume we're gonna find a meditation point. I think that's a good time to call it. So we made it further into this temple. I assume this is a shortcut. Oh no. God damn it. Now you try to cut the Easy now. See your Junda sent me. Master Junda. You use the force of Cal Kestis. The only force user. Time to go. The Empire's Ah uh, shit. Which is why this must make it back to Master Junda. These contact codes cannot fall into the hands of the Empire. I made a mistake. Cal, he's gone. Take this. Go through quickly. We'll protect you. Go. I come on. I can't hold this forever. Go. Him. Oh, there you go. Okay. Cool. Well, you so can get through green laser gates. <laughs> yeah, which there's a couple on the other planets that we can go through. Let's get a skill, and I think that's time to call it. Um, I really needed to use the four stuff more. Fills force meter, blocked or fills. Faster. Does that say the power of friendship? Yes, it does. Okay. I kind of want that the block meter refills faster. That might be worth. Oh, maybe I should have gotten that to close distance a bit better. Because I don't think right now he has anything to close distance. Shit. Oh well. Next time. Okay. So. We rested. We got skills. We need to escape this temple. But that's for next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.